Loses the fight to Canadian. One to go, it's Avian alone. And he drops down. Continue on, your world champions. Okay, he'll come out with his flag. He'll woo the crowd. Everybody loves it. We know we're going to get it from him. Um, but when it doesn't work. And he goes down. G2 will take the win. Like, we did deserve to lose. It wasn't just unlucky. I'm so much better. You fucking noodle. What kind of Canadian is? At the end of the day, it's winning. That's it. When you watch Troy, you feel the passion. I do think I detect a new kind of level of Canadian coming. I'm sure he's going to learn from that and benefit from that long term. He's already good. You wait to see what he turns into. This retake from Canadian will be tough. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Will Canadian clutch? Oh my god! No way he pulls that off and the diffuser is his. He knows he has plenty of time. Almost unwinnable, I say. Well, he proves me wrong. Canadian was once one of the best Rainbow Six Siege players in the world. After lifting the sledgehammer at the very first Six Invitational, he marked his name in Siege history. Loses the fight to Canadian. One to go, it's Avian alone. And he drops down. Continue on, your world champions. But Canadian isn't just a great player. Fans fell in love with him because he's aggressive, explosive, and he's not afraid to let people know that he thinks he's the best player on the server. I'm all this shit with the worst gun in the game. You're playing Twitch, Geo. You're playing Twitch. I feel like most people would be surprised by this, but the main reason I do it, I, I like to make my teammates laugh in game. I don't think like I'm like some badass up there like yelling at the other team. I just try to be as ridiculous as possible to keep the spirits up and whatnot. I think that's really what I push for. But after that incredible win at the first Invitational, Canadian never saw the same kind of success. Pengu goes for one on the young, can he go the second? They're often known as the best team in the world, never having that distinction until today. Penta are your world champions. He and Evil Geniuses pulled off one of the most incredible chokes in esports history at the next Invitational, and they kind of went into free fall after that. EU close to getting the victory, and he goes down! G2 will take the win! Last man alive is Necrox, his MVK is on the floor. It's looking! Oh my god, they yes! did it! They've done it! They've done it! Fanatic! Demolish EG! It's a 1v3 Canadian to keep his team alive in the biggest tournament in the world. Turn to the corner, he grabs one on the mark. Trying to go in for two against Fox. They all, take, all it will take is two bullets. Close range for the Deagle. Deagles him down. 1v1 against Laxing. And Laxing on Tarp! Reciprocity eliminate evil geniuses! Everyone knew Canadian was a good player, but they just didn't think he could come through in the clutch. Fans loved watching him play, but in the back of their heads, they knew he wasn't gonna win. And then VK will watch as Geo goes for the plant. The sound cue will give Dim the information. Oh, he takes one down! Oh! And a new empire will rise as you crown a new champion here in Milan! But Canadian wasn't giving up. He was getting ready to prove everyone wrong. In September 2019, Canadian joined Space Station Gaming. They weren't a bad team. In fact, they had made it to the 2019 Invitational. But they were an NA team. And Siege hadn't been NA's game since Canadian lifted the hammer all the way back in 2017. But there was something exciting about SSG. Back at the 2019 Invitational, they got so close to knocking out G2, the eventual champion. Fastest takes out Pengu, but there's not a lot of time. He has to go for the defuse, but Kanto is going to play the clock, and we are dangerously close. Rampy knows it, look at his face, come on! It doesn't matter, G2 is there, Rampy the impactless frag! He's upset, but G2 look to repeat, and they punch a ticket to the semi-finals! They were a group of insanely skilled players who had a lack of leadership. They were gods, but they needed someone to point their guns in the right direction. And that someone was Canadian. I think SSG's like biggest strength prior to me joining, back at the last Invitational basically, I think it was definitely just kind of the discipline and the style of the team. Adding Canadian as the team's new IGL proved to be SSG's turning point. We didn't have like a main IGL, and that was like our problem is we didn't have somebody to like lead us in that direction, and we needed direction. And um, it's like we could, we can think for ourselves, we can do that, but it's like we need a true leader. Troy, like he approached us and everything, and it worked out. And I'm so happy to have him on the team. All the pieces were in place for Canadians' comeback. 
He had the right team, the right role, the right mindset. But it was all or nothing at the Invitational. Because if he failed there, leaving EG was going to look like the worst decision he ever made. Like, I, I know at the Invitational, when I was talking to Amar when you, when you guys lost, and then you, um, and you took some time before you came out to see me, and he went back and got you to make sure you were okay. They're good guys. The 2020 Invitational was a gathering of giants, and SSG's group was stacked with some of the best talent from Europe and NA. But despite the insane level of competition, Space Station Gaming left their group stage opponents in the dust. As Canadian gets a kill onto Pi, and this is gonna come down to a last 10 second push. Paul steps up with one onto Fultz, thinking Nade in with the trade though, and the oh. last man goes down, thinking Nade gets the kill onto Nello. Space Station Gaming have lift off. This retake from Canadian will be tough. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Well, Canadian clutch! Oh my God! No way he pulls that off and the diffuser is his. He knows he has plenty of time. And I'd imagine you gotta be pumped with that one. He'll start to defuse and SSG manages to save the round. Almost unwinnable, I say. Well, he proves me wrong. Second round goes to SSG. Why am I so much fucking better than you? I can hear, I can, I'm not kidding. I can hear him through the walls. <laughs> There's one, not the second, the reloads in. The plant coming down right now, it needs to be denied, but no, it's actually a full fight. And it'll be SSG on that full fight to take the map and the series. SSG tore through the quarters and the semis without dropping a game, making it to the upper bracket finals as the only undefeated team in the tournament. But TSM gave them a harder fight. But TSM's making it difficult for them. Merc's flown through a window. Frag Grenade gets eaten by an ADS. We already have Bolo looking to get aggressive. Gets one and it's a perfect round from TSM. Poge, can you stick it? He can. Into the post plant for SSG and it's all down to Fultz. One of the youngest members of this SSG squad to try and win this with this diffuser down to not very much utility. TSM takes SSG's map up 1-0. Despite the loss, SSG bounced back, dumpstering TSM on coastline and taking a close win on Cafe. From above, leaving only two up now for TSM. Merc being one of those though. Bosco up to a quad, but so is Merc! And he's gonna go for the ace, but no! It's denied by Canadian! And Space Station still remain unscathed as they move on to their second half. Another one for Geo, he's downed it for sure, but Canadian, he's still holding the line. That's kill number three on this round for him. Rampy finally getting some action, and Geo, he's been cut off if he goes down. That's it! Space Station Gaming takes control of the series and moves into the grand finals of SI 2020. Canadian was back in the grand finals of the Invitational. His redemption was so close. He just had one opponent left, but that opponent? was out for blood. Ninjas in pajamas would not be easy to beat. They had a ton of momentum going into the most important match of the year. Space Station Gaming went to the grand finals with the upper bracket advantage. They were only two maps away from a million dollar grand prize. Canadian was only two maps away from redemption. But Nip weren't going down without a fight. Yuzi is taking some damage so he can still perish. There goes the logic bombs, another kill for Ninjas in Pajamas. Are they gonna finish this off in flawless fashion? Like I said, the biggest advantage that SSG had is now gone. Flawless round, Ninjas in Pajamas take map one. Julio lops the head off of Fultz. He'll head towards the main stairs. One spotted by main stairs. They'll engage and Julio picks up a second kill. Canadian planting, but nobody's there to watch him. Timer's out and that's the map. Nip were just one map away from dumpstering SSG. Canadian's loss was almost guaranteed, and his redemption was fading away. But he wasn't down for the count just yet. Bosco can't get out of there. Now everybody's falling. It's a 3v1. Somebody from Nip will need to plant. It's Pino's job to do that. Rampy down below. Will he be able to stop this in time? He has an impact oh! grenade. There it is. Ground control to Major Tom. We've got ourselves a series match point for Space Station! Not a lot of time left. And Nip will stall out, lacking some crucial utility. When we see it, 
One left, it's Kamikaze, and that's it. The map is Space Stations. We will need a fifth to settle the score. It's a best of one showdown between Brazil and North America. And that's the first kill for Space Station. Looking for another. As they turn in, there's Bosco with yet another. Pino goes down, play of being attempted by Canadian. Fultz gets one on the Kamikaze. Julia will need to stop this. Musi takes out Bosco, down he goes. And it's Musi, the new member in a 1v4 with Diffuser down. Everything is on the line. The most critical moment in Musi's career with SSG 30 seconds away. They need to find one person. That's it. He'll head in towards Archives and get caught. The hammer heads into orbit, but it's home once again is North America. Space Station Gaming are your world champions. SSG's near perfect performance on Bank denied Nip the victory, and Canadian lifted the hammer once again. Space Station Gaming! For the first time in three years, Canadian was once again the best in the world. All the strife he endured, all the heartache, all the haters he had to deal with, none of it mattered anymore. Because Canadian had finally taken back his rightful place at the top of Siege. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.